session of Get to Know Me. I'm your host, Marcus Burns, and we have one, the one and only, Hood Howard Stern, also known as Quincy L. Lewis. So, uh, how's it going, man? What's going on, man? It's you doing all right? Yeah, everything's pretty good, man. Right. How about yourself? Good, good. So, it's tell good. me a little bit about yourself. Uh, me? It's, it's not a whole lot to me. You know, it's basically, I'm just a kid, you know, from the east side of Detroit with some, uh, with some ambitions. And I think everybody got ambitions, but... I think my ambitions may be a little stronger than others. At least I hope so, right? As an entrepreneur, I think that's uh, the most important thing. So, yeah, just a kid from the 48205. So, if you're from Detroit, you know, 48205 is a pretty pretty tough place to come out of. So, I made it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm here, and I'm trying to, you know, okay. make, trying to make a difference, you know, trying to keep it moving. Well, who is... Hood Howard Stern. <laughs> How did you come up with that name? <laughs> now, Hood Howard Stern is, uh, I guess, for lack of a, a better term, I guess, is an alter ego, I guess. Um, I, some years ago, I, a long time ago, when they came out with the Howard Stern movie, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't real, I wasn't really up on Howard Stern, so I watched that movie, and then after that, I actually started listening to Howard Stern, and Howard Stern is kind of controversial, and I think right. that, in some ways, some of the topics that would come up on the radio show are controversial, so I said, you know, I'm from the hood, I'm kind of like Howard Stern, so <laughs> I just kind of put it together, right? I don't know if there's any legal problems with that, so. <laughs> well, hey, you never know, he might, actually, he might actually come back up right. on you and be like, Shout hey, out you're to stealing my name! Exactly. Shout out to Howard Stern, though. Much respect. Much respect. <laughs> so how do you come up with your topics for your show? Um, the topics, honestly, um, we, uh, me and my co-host, you know, shout out to Monk Money, alright, that's my co-host there. And uh, we, we just kind of brainstorm on usually what's going on in the news or what's going on in the neighborhoods or, you know, things that's just, uh, you know, a, a hot topic at this point. So I think for the most part, I read a lot of newspapers, though, like not just from Detroit, but, you know, the New York Times, uh, online magazines. I, I read a lot of stuff just to try to, you know, keep a, abreast on things. And I think that the, the really, honestly, we just kind of throw ideas in the bucket. And figure out, you know, which one we like best. So, okay, really, okay. it just comes from society and current events, basically, is how we go. Okay, okay. You're also um, hosting a lot of shows. How did you get into doing that? Now, that's that's the funny thing. Now, uh, the radio show uh, we have been doing for, you know, a couple of years before. And uh, basically, what happened is uh, uh, <laughs> some, somebody seen me doing a radio show. And they was like, they, they messaged me on Facebook, like, how would you like to? Uh, how would you like to host an award show? So you know, shout out to Michelle uh, Alfred out there, Michelle, if you're out there listening. Um, she hit me up on the message and was like, you know, how would you like to host an award show? So I was like, well, uh, I do a radio show, but why do you think I could be a good show host? So she was like, well, I seen the show and I, I like your presentation. I, you know, I like your delivery. So let's give it a shot. So the crazy thing is, I've been doing that for the past two years, uh, getting ready to do. Uh, the third year of the, uh, you know, the, the Billboard Awards, the Spoken Word Billboard Awards. And uh, so ever since then, I've been kind of, I've been kind of interested in it. And I, I, I kind of like doing the crowd thing, the, the MC thing. Okay. So a little a little side note, this is kind of <laughs> off the subject, but kind of on it. Back in the day, I thought I wanted to be a rapper, right? Okay. okay. <laughs> I never really told them about this, right? So I, I thought I was going to be an MC. So being a host is kind of like being an MC. So kind of. I, I threw the MC in a way because I really wasn't good at rapping, but now this kind of gives me the same flavor. I get to work with crowds, so I, that's kind of how that got into the flip. Okay. But uh, yeah, I really love it though. I love it. Okay. Well, what have been some of the hurdles that you've had to overcome to become the person you are today? Now, as far as now, you mean like hurdles as far as getting to my professional thing, or just hurdles? Period. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Okay. Now, professionally, hurdles. I mean, basically, it's just. Doing the uh, radio show, we are all independent. So, like, I'm, we're funding everything ourselves. So that's the that's the main hurdle there is the finance. I mean, we're trying to make money on the back end by, you know, selling advertisements and things of that nature. But you're looking at the camera work, the you know, the audio, the computers, all that's that's on us. So you know, we're we're paying to play at this right, point. Right. So that, that's the main hurdle there is just coming overcoming the, the finances basically. Okay. Now, as far as just personally. 
I have to say, I have to go back to what I said before about, you know, growing up in 4A205. It's just that, I mean, we kind of, it's an uphill battle. I mean, it's for me, I know I, I probably need to let it go, but as you see my hat, you know, say I wear it to the side all the time. <laughs> I, I don't look like I have a lot of <laughs> a lot of good sense, <laughs> right? So that, that's been a, a few of my hurdles, just, just stereotypes. And I think for, you know, I, I, I hate to throw the race issue in there, but I think for African-American men especially, I think that the, the some of the main hurdles coming up in corporate America is just people's perception uh, of us. Oh, person. Exactly. So right. that's that's one of the main hurdles there. Okay. Yeah. What is it that you love of producing your own internet show? Oh, well, it's just the it's the it's the hands on and the ability. All right, look, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> I, was, I was gonna try to sugarcoat it, but the reality of it is is that it's just nice to be able to do exactly what I want to do and nobody can tell me I can't do it so okay. that, that's the that's the best thing about producing your own show is that if I come up with a topic and say hey let's do this nobody on the board in the boardroom is going to tell me I can't do it so right. that's well, the thing that it's on the internet it's, exactly it's, it's, it's no free. Exactly. No exactly. exactly so being in production you know producing your own kind of thing it just gives you that freedom and I think as an entrepreneur I think freedom is what you know most entrepreneurs are searching for anyway, right so. right so, of all the topics that you've talked about on your show, mm -hmm. what was the most controversial? <laughs> all right, I have to say, probably uh, just this past week, uh, this is probably the second or third time we touched on it, but I think it's a, it's a gay marriage or same-sex marriage. I think it's the most controversial, only because people are so divided by this. I mean, for me, it's just kind of like, I guess really, realistically, I don't care Like if you, <laughs> if you love another man, then go ahead and marry him. But at the same time, I think that the... The law and government is starting to get too involved in it. And yeah. I think that's where people are having the issue. So people want to throw the, they want to throw the Constitution and they want to throw the Bible in it. I don't know. So it's, it's, it gets all confused. And I think way, way, way back in the day, I think they were supposed to separate church and state, but I guess it never happened. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. you, so you would think they'd still try to do that now, <laughs> right. but they're not. obviously not. But yeah, I think that's the most controversial though. Okay. Yeah. What do you think is the hardest thing about hosting in front of a crowd? <laughs> the, thing, the hardest thing about hosting in front of a, car, uh, a crowd, especially when you're not like you know, uh, quote unquote, famous, right? Uh, it's well, just you're getting there. I, I hope so. <laughs> it's uh, keeping the crowd's attention. I mean, the the thing is, is that especially in the digital age, you know, the social media and things of that nature, people's people's attention span is about you know this long. Right. So <laughs> with right. attention span being that that long, you need to really captivate people and catch them and keep them going so that I think that's the hardest part but I think somehow uh, I've, I've managed to do okay with it uh, actually I, I managed to do pretty well I'm actually being, <laughs> being modest but uh no actually I, I think that the hardest part is just keeping their attention I mean when you're hosting you you have a duty so you know what you got to do so you know what you got to do you know who you got to bring up next you know what the intent of the show is but the hardest part is just keeping people's attention because we I think TV did it I think TV did it. I think TV make you well, just it, it, yeah, it, it doesn't help up. that you have to watch local programming and they have all the commercials. And <laughs> right. What's the first thing you grab it for? Remote, <laughs> remote, exactly. <laughs> right. You know, so it's tough. And, it, and it's and it's even worse because the commercials are only thirty seconds to a minute long, and right. the first thing you reach for is the remote. Exactly, because so. they show so many of them. <laughs> They're right. supposed to only be two minutes, but <laughs> yeah, we know right. that if you watch certain shows after certain time frames. You, you'll be watching minutes 15 shows. minutes of show and 20 minutes of commercial. Exactly. So, yeah. But what advice would you give someone who wants to start off being a host? Or maybe um, even start up their own radio, radio show? show? Um, as far as uh, being being a host, I think uh, the, the advice I would give you is... Honestly, this is advice that you should probably take for anything, but just don't be scared. If you have the... If you think you have the ability... Or even if you don't think you got the ability, but you think you can work into it, just don't be scared. Don't be afraid. I think a fear probably holds ninety percent of people back from succeeding. So I think that's that's the main thing. Is just don't be afraid to try it. Um, it's a possibility that you might suck. <laughs> it's a possibility, but that's Never anything. Know. That's anything. Never know. Now, as far as a radio show, I mean, if you, I mean, just to give you a little background on how we started, you know, how uh, E Block Radio started was basically. Funny story, man. We was just kind of all in the basement, right? Me and some of the buddies. And uh, my buddy got a weight bench in the basement, so we was kind of lifting weights. And uh, he was just saying, like, you know what? We should have a radio show. So I, I laughed. I'm like, a radio show? Man, get, a, get on the weight bench, right? So uh, we we did that, and then I went home, and I Googled it. I'm like, how could we start 
you know, a radio yeah. show. So I got the information back, and I was like, well, let me just try it. I did it for 30 minutes. It was free, so I'm like, let's try it. And then look what it blossomed into. You know, we got like over 90,000 listeners now, so... It started from the basement. I mean, we're still in the basement. <laughs> but, but, you know, we got more listeners now. But, um, yeah, so my advice on that is just to really just put fear aside and really try it. Like, the 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 tools are out here, especially with social media, the Internet. Like, you can find out how to do anything. Right. Yeah, so I think do your research and be serious about it. Because when, when you come to people and say, like, this is what I want to do, you better be serious. or other, Otherwise, people won't help you. Right. And if they help you, and you they find out you're not serious, you'll never get that help again. And trust me, oh, God, that is not the position you don't that, <laughs> you do not want to be in that. That's something you don't want to be in. <laughs> you do not want to be in that situation. It's, it's like what they say uh, in a lot of places. It's not what you know. It's who you know. It's who you know, and that is definitely true. And I say that just to piggyback on what I said. It's who you know, and it's, 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 it's those relationships. Those relationships are vital. I'm, I'm telling you, people don't really understand that in business entrepreneurship, all that stuff, relationships are, are vital and you have to you have to really make those be a hundred percent if you really want to advance. So right, yeah. Right. So that's my advice there too. And, and also <laughs> when you make when you make connections, <laughs> this is something like um this, this is kinda of off the subject too, but um I did an internship at Black Enterprise and I met Earl um, Earl Graves. And the the main thing he told us is that when you network then you need to be able to hold those people accountable that say that they'll help you out. So this is something, it, it sounds simple, but it's true. So when people say they'll help you out and you're doing what you need to do, you need to be able to follow up those people and say, hey, you know, you told me you was going to do something for me, so, you know, where is that? Hold people okay. accountable. Okay. So, yeah, so shout out to Earl Grace. <laughs> Black Enterprise, all my people out there in New York City. So what's up for, what's up next for Hood Howard Stern? Uh, well, right now, you know, uh, I'm, I'm getting geared up to uh, later on do the uh, the third annual uh, spoken word Billboard Awards. Uh, is this that time, is Howard Stern or is that Quincy? Uh, that's Quincy L. Lewis. <laughs> now, as far as Hood Howard Stern, we're just gonna you know keep it moving with the uh, with the radio show, uh, trying to reach that milestone of a hundred thousand listeners. Right now, we're a little over ninety thousand, so okay. trying to get to a hundred thousand. I think uh, once we get that milestone, we try to look into some. Possibly some some different venues. I, I want to kind of start doing um, like on location. So and okay. now we want to do some on location things, and we want to actually start doing some interviews. You know, kind of like how you doing, right? right? So yeah, we haven't had any interviews. This is all talk radio. So all we do is we get topics and we just talk smack. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, so yeah. people call in. People and call in and right. comment. Yeah, and then you know we we cut them off. If we don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm just playing. We don't really do it. Okay, so we might mute them. Okay. Yeah, we might mute them. So we even got a gong too, though. Like, oh, wow. Gong, Let them know yeah. they're talking too long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wrap it up clock. Yeah. <laughs> really interesting, huh? <laughs> you're right. I man. might need one of them, huh? Man, you might. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see here. We're going to think, being that this is April, we're going to pick April, May, June, and forward. Mm -hmm. What do you have planned? Uh, at this point, man, nothing really planned other than just, like I said, just moving forward. Uh, with the radio show, as far as you know, Hood Howard Stern, okay. uh, Quincy L. Lewis, of course, I'm looking forward to uh, hosting that the uh, third annual Billboard Awards. But in between time, though, uh, there's there's always some different venues that we try to uh, we try to check out. This is something new uh, that we wanted to start doing. I know you, you gave me those few months, but I'm looking at September. Is uh, we want to get into uh, hosting like uh, Monday Night Football, uh, okay. like things that you know some of the local bars. So. Just to kind of get our name out there and also be able to, you know, record live. So that'll be kind of cool. Okay. So any venues out there looking for Monday Night Football hosts, uh, E Block Radio. Okay. <laughs> anyway, shameless plug. <laughs> when is your radio show on? Uh, right now it's on it's on the internet, so you can check us out on the uh, website www.eblockradio.com. Uh, but you know, also we got well all that, all that information listed on that website. So you go to that website. You can figure out how to call in. You can call in and comment. And also, it's on Ustream. The the, uh, the replays are on YouTube, so you can just punch in uh, E Block Radio, and actually, it all it all pops up. We're pretty uh, Googleable. I don't know if that's a word, but I just made it up. So <laughs> Googleable. Well, I did look you up, and <laughs> yeah. Quincy L. Lewis didn't come up much, but no, but uh, our star, yeah. he came up. But then you know, like maybe three or four parts, mm -hmm. and then. Howard Stern. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, you know I gotta share. That. I gotta share with Howard. You Stern. gotta share. Yeah. So shout out to Howard. So Stern. where can we find you 
Yeah, okay. online. All right. So me online, I'm kind of everywhere. So if you're on Facebook, um, it's Quincy L. Lewis, of course. You can check me out there. Friend request me. I'll, uh, I'll accept it. I got a lot of friends. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, Straight From The E Block is also on Facebook. So you can just punch that in and like our fan page. Uh, but on Instagram and Twitter, all the same thing. Hood Howard Stern. Streamline, straight across the board. Learned a little branding. Okay. Taught, okay. taught myself. Okay. okay. <laughs> so yes, that's uh, Hood Howard Stern. All right. Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. So okay, okay. Well, what do you think will be um, a niche that you might have uh, to maybe try and start over? What you mean? Like for like, I don't know. Maybe, like maybe like let's what's what's in your forehead for future? Um, uh, you mean is this something a little different? Right. Or, okay. Uh, I mean, at this point, I, I guess I've been so focused on you know doing this thing with the uh, with the radio show. The only thing differently that I think I, I might want to do, like I said, is the on location thing and, and interviewing. I want to get a little more into that. Uh, but this is something I hadn't mentioned uh, all show, but I actually do a little writing too. Uh, oh, what are you writing? Yeah. <laughs> so I've actually uh, self published a uh, a poetry book. All right, and that's uh, called Off the Block, so you can check that out too, Amazon.com. Really? Yeah. I did notice that, but I didn't know if that was yours. Yeah, oh yeah, that's mine. So yeah, I've written a poetry book, and something I'm actually working on, something I didn't mention before, because I guess we wasn't really talking about that, but uh, is the, uh, I've got a new, I've got a new book okay. uh, coming out that I'm working on. It's actually a novel, so uh, that's in the works maybe this summer, so. Yeah, okay. Doing some writing, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Well, so. thank, well, thank you for coming out. <laughs> no problem, man. I love to be here. Okay. Well, that was another session of Get to Know Me. I hope to see you, maybe, next to me, like you here, <laughs> next time. You can reach us on Facebook at 8 Up Videos. You can also like our page, or you can visit our website at www.ateupvideos.com. Well, it's that time to close out, and I'd like to thank Q again for coming out. And maybe next time, we'll have you as a guest on our show so we can get to know you. See you later.